Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. It's that time of year again, it's my favorite time of year. We are gonna be tog fishing. Uh, super excited to start this up again, and it's been a long time, so got my crabs, got everything ready to go, and, uh, and maybe we'll see some Albies pop up in here. I don't know, this is a new spot I've never fished before. Just looking at the charts, I'm trying to find places that I can fish when the weather gets uh, crappy, so and, uh, we've lost the last three weeks to wind. So it's been pretty tough. It's been a long streak of not fishing, so very eager to get out, very eager to catch a lot of fish. Uh, but today's just going to be an exploratory trip, just trying to find big tog and protected areas. That's my goal today. Uh, but that's it. I'll uh, let you guys know what gear I'm using when we get to that point, and uh, yeah, let's go have some fun. All right, guys, see you out there. All right, guys. So back with the tog fishing again. The bait is <clears throat> like usual gonna be cut green crab um, so basically all you do is take off all the legs oh, come on now <clears throat> and this is just the body of the crab I like just using halves on my jigs cut it in half and then uh, I'll just throw it on the jig for the guys for now and then take this hook through the claw socket and I just try to bring it out towards the rear of the rear of the shell somewhere. Oh, I'm hooking myself in the process, and then oh, rip off the back of the shell. I didn't do a good job there, but you guys get the idea. Uh, and that's it. Simple, simple, simple. Um, <clears throat> this is a new spot for me, so I'm not expecting a whole lot here. Uh, but I'm really, I'm just scouting out for the uh, Rhode, Rhode Island Todd Classic. So. We'll see how it goes, guys. <coughs> wow. This might be a tog. That was good. That was a nice run. There we go. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a uh, target species right there. See what it measures. I think if I would have laid it flat, it would have kept, but a barely 16 inch tog, it's really not worth killing anyhow. But I like it. Ooh. That's the one. And he broke me off. That was a nice fish. I couldn't even get him off bottom. Wow. A nice tog. Ah, it could be a sea bass. Yeah, it is sea bass. Ah, that's a nice one. It's worth measuring. <clears throat> yeah, 16, 16 on the dot. I mean, probably. It's probably 16 and a quarter. <clears throat> Not good. Not good enough. I gotta dial this rod and reel in. 
these big fish. This is a new reel I'm using this year. My Shimano's down, so uh, this is the one that's getting the, uh, the workout this year. Works out just fine. Oh. Oh, get off the bottom, get off the bottom. Shh. I can feel it. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. What is this? Do I have a snag fish? Like... It's not really fighting, it just kind of took off. And I got a lot of heat on this fish. Oh, snack talk. Still a decent sized one. <coughs> Jeez, barely hooked them too. Look at that. Watch how easy this one comes off. Well, if I would have slacked up at all, gave that fish in it, then I would have lost it. What are you guys eating down there? Slipper shells. Oh. <clears throat> and that tie, that, that felt like a nice fish. <clears throat> ah, 17 incher. You know what? Gonna eat some talk for dinner tonight. And then harvest that one. But I mean, look at that. Beautiful fish, though. Oh. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. I think I might have found uh, a decent little spot here. It's definitely feeling legal. Pulling drag, I mean, I get this drag kind of locked down because I know I'm in structure, so. Oh, that's a beautiful sea bass. Like, like you're getting the net, sir. Wow. I was not expecting a sea bass like that today. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm definitely harvesting this thing. That's a treat. Yeah, yeah. 21 inch sea bass in this. Oh, I'm definitely okay with that. It's been hooked before, probably lost right there. Oof. Beauty. That's a beaut, guys. Oh. I like the head shakes on that. Yeah. 
Decent sea bass. It's a fat one. They're eating good. <clears throat> Thick, healthy fish. A little small for me to want to fillet that today. I got enough fish in the cooler that I don't really need to focus on those little guys. on there. Oh! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh I kind of feel like an idiot now. <laughs> Maybe I popped it out of the snag. Uh, the fish picked it up or I don't know. right there I think this lovely lady's gonna go back get a quick measure I might even tag this one oh, yeah. yeah 19 and a half inches well, let's see we'll go 19 there we go tag tog beautiful fish ready to go back 19 inch all right, go get her, guys. Man. Susan hits the bottom. These fish are on. Sea bass worth measuring. And uh, the more I look at it, the more I think it's going to be just on the line. 17 inches. It's gonna be a big sea bass. bass. Alright. Get this one in. This will round out my sea bass limit. Um, I already know it's a keeper. That's the only reason why I'm gilling it. But, uh, just make things easier for me. Oh, nice fish. Seventeen and a quarter. Seventeen, seventeen and a quarter. There's no, no being worried about this fish. Keeper three for sea bass limit. Oh, 
probably just a sea bass, but still. that would have probably stayed. These ones are thick, I tell you what, they're healthy. They've been eating good all summer. Last fish of the day here. I uh, I've had enough. You know, I got a little bit of crab left. Just another keeper sea bass going back. Today turned into a uh, black sea bass beatdown. Um, but this was just trying out a new spot I've never fished before and seeing how it did. Uh, there are tog here. I lost something at the very beginning of the day, which I think was a tog. Broke me off on the bottom. Uh, that fish that hurt to lose, but. Other than that, I mean, uh, biggest tog today was that one we tagged at 19 inches that we threw back. Ended up with one more tog, it was like on the 16 inch mark line, and then I ended up with the 17 inch, which I went in the cooler. Uh, the stars of the show today were certainly the black sea bass. They, uh, man, that was good. I got that big one there, that was really, that was a nice surprise, that 21 inch, a couple 17, 17 and a quarter, 17 and a half fish. That went in the cooler too, you know, so I got my limit on those, and. I guess if I would have kept all the tog, I would have had my limit, but um, I only kept one today. Uh, that's really it. Like I said, the brand new spot, never fished before in my life, and never actually fished anywhere in this area, so it was kind of just an exploratory trip for a uh, place to fish when the weather's bad. So, but uh, yeah, there's definitely fish here, just not, it wasn't amazing today, but a lot of tide and stuff like that, so that all factors in and then just couldn't fish those sea bass in the deeper spots but uh it's still a good day I had a fun time and uh glad to be talk fishing and looking forward to the uh rhode island talk classic which is this weekend um and that's really what i'm doing probably fishing a lot this week just pre-fishing trying to find where these big fish might be hiding so uh i took first place last year i want to get it again but mother nature's probably going to be the deciding factor on that one but it is what it is. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.